Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial is going to be part two of my file system modules tutorial. Now in the previous tutorial, we went over using the file system module to work with files. In this, I want to go over how to work with folders. So to get started, we're going to have to require the file system module. So I'm just going to say const fs equal require and then fs here. All right, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna say fs.mkdir. And what mkdir stands for is make directory. And all directory is, is a folder. So now here it's gonna take in two arguments. One is gonna be the folder name that you want. So I'm gonna give it the value of tutorial. And then we're gonna pass in the callback with an error. And we're just going to say if error console.log error else we successfully created the folder. So I'm just going to say console.log folder successfully created. So now if I was to save this and now before I actually run this, I'm just going to hit control B. So you don't see that there's any magic happening. So all I have is my Node.js tutorial folder and an app.js file. So now if I go here, type node app, you can see that we get the output of folder successfully created and that our tutorials folder has been created. Now let's say that I actually wanna delete this folder. So I'm just gonna hit control B again and this is actually going to give us an error, but I'm just going to show you what the error is. It's basically going to complain that this folder already exists. So I'm just going to say fs.rm and rm stands for remove and then dir and that stands for remove folder. Now I'm going to give the folder name. So we called it tutorial and this is also going to take a callback, which gets an error. So now if I say if error console.log the error else, we're going to say successfully deleted the folder successfully deleted the folder. So now if I was to save this and now execute it, you see that we get an error file already exists and that's because the tutorials folder already exists and we're trying to create another folder named the same thing. So I'm just gonna hit control B. We're gonna delete the tutorial folder. So I'm just gonna hit delete, confirm that, control B again, let's execute this. And you can see that we successfully deleted the folder so if I go up here, hit control B, you can see that it doesn't exist. So first thing we do is we create a folder called tutorial. And then if this is successful, then we're going to delete the folder called tutorial. And you can see by the output that we successfully deleted the folder. Now this is too fast and that's why you wouldn't be able to see it if we had the package manager open. So now that we know how to create and delete a folder, what I want to do now is create a folder and then create a file within that folder. So I'm just going to hit control B and we can leave this make directory. So we're going to make a folder called tutorial. And if it's successful, it's going to execute this else block. So let's remove this. And then within here, we're going to create our new file. So to do that, I'm just going to say fs dot file. Now write file is going to take in three arguments. It's going to take in the name of the file, but in this case, we got to give it the full path. So I'm going to say dot forward slash. And what dot forward slash means is I want you to start relative to app.js. And then I want you to go inside the folder called tutorial. So I'm just going to hit control B just to show you. So app.js starts here. There's going to be a folder called tutorial. So I'm going to go inside that folder tutorial. 
And now I want to you to create the file called example.txt. So if I hit control B again, and then the second argument is gonna be what the data that you want. I'm just gonna write one, two, three, doesn't matter for this example. And then the third argument is gonna be a callback function, which gets an error. And then within here, I'm gonna write if error, console.log the error onto the console. Else, we're gonna write successfully created file. Successfully created file. So now let's save this. So I'm just gonna hit Control S, go down here, node app. And you can see that it says successfully created file down here. So now if I hit Control B, and I'm gonna go up here and then hit Control B. You can see that we have our newly created tutorial folder. And within here, we have our example.txt. So if we go in here, you can see it has the data of one, two, and three. Now what I wanna show you is how would I delete a folder that has a file within it? So you might be saying, if I just go back here, hit Control B, that can't I just use fs.remove directory in order to do this? Well, I am actually just gonna comment all this out. And what will end up happening if I use the remove directory function is that, is that I'll get an error. And the reason for that is because if I use the remove directory function, it has to be used on a directory or folder that is empty. So just to show illustrate this, just going to write this quick remove directory function. And if there's an error, print it, else we're just gonna print deleted folder. So I'm just gonna hit Control S to save. And I'm just gonna type CLS to clear the terminal, node app. And you can see that we get an error, directory not empty, that we're trying to remove a directory that has a file within it. So in order to fix that, let's delete the file first. So I'm just gonna say fs.unlink. And the first argument is gonna be the file. So remember, dot forward slash, and then we have to go into the tutorials folder. And then I named the file example.txt. Next argument is going to be a callback function, which has an error. And I'm just gonna say if error, print it out. If there's no error, then what I wanna do, well, if there's no error, that means that I successfully deleted the file, which means I can now successfully remove the file. So I'm just gonna copy this, and I'm gonna put this within the else block here. I add some semicolons. And now if I was to save this, and now execute it, you can see that we have deleted folder and you can see up here deleted from disk so if i go hit control b you can see that the folder has been successfully deleted so what did we do first we deleted the file that was within the folder and then if that was successful then i wanted to delete the folder itself last example that i want to do is what happens when there are multiple files within a folder and you want to delete all those files. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and we're just gonna create it within our package explorer. So I'm just gonna say new folder and we're gonna call it example. And I'm just gonna give it two files. So I'm just gonna say a.txt and the second file is going to be b.txt. All right, so now I have my folder and I have my two files. So how would I go about doing this? Well, there's a method called 
read directory and what read directory does is it gives you back the list of files that you have within that folder so let's actually call it so i'm just going to comment all this out comment this out and then i'm just going to type fs.read directory now the first argument is going to be obviously the name of the directory and in this case we called it example and then the second argument is going to be a callback function first parameter is going to be error and then second parameter is going to have files now files is going to be an array with the name of the file so now we can test if there's an error all we're going to do is print out the error there's no error we're going to print out files and i'm just going to print out files just to show you what files contains so if I save this, run this in the console, you can see that we have our two files stored within an array, a.txt and b.txt. So now let's actually loop through this array and delete everything. So now I'm just gonna say for let file of files. And then within here, we can start deleting each file individually. So I could say fs.unlink and then we're going to give it the file name. So it's going to be dot forward slash example. Then it's going to be the name of the file. After that is going to take in an argument callback with an error. And if there was a problem deleting that file, it's going to print it out to the console. If there wasn't, we're just going to say successfully deleted file so and so. So, so successfully deleted file. So now if I was to save this and now execute this, you can see successfully deleted file once, twice. And if I hit control B, you can see that we have an empty folder called example.